Okay, good good afternoon, everybody. Um, just checking again that everybody can can hear and um, you can see the presentation. Yeah. So I'm Veronica Lambert, and I'm uh, the program uh, coordinator for a new uh, MSC that we're excited to announce um, coming to um, DCU in September. Um, an MSC in Child and Family Health and Wellbeing. And I'm joined here today by my colleague Carol Byron, who's associate professor on the program. Um, uh, with me as well, and we're happy to answer any questions or queries about the program. Uh, so feel free to pop any questions into the chat, um, and also we'll give email details at the end of the presentation if you'd like to email us or contact us directly. So the MSC in Child and Family Health and Wellbeing might be of interest to you if you're working with children, young people, and their families. Um, and also it's of interest to recent graduates and or anybody working at an early or mid career um, stage of their profession. It is an interdisciplinary program and we welcome applications from a variety of uh, fields across allied health and social care, education, nursing and anybody working in community or thinking of working community, voluntary or non governmental organisations. The entry requirements are a level eight honours degree um, at, with a H21 or equivalent in a relevant discipline and that you will be currently working with children, young people and or their families. And we also will um, consider um, appropriate, I suppose, uh, experience um, if you have not the appropriate level of academic attainment for direct entry and um, can access through the recognition of prior learning process. The program will be delivered part time over two years and we're delivering it um, through a blended learning approach. This will entail being on campus here in DCU three days per each semester, that potentially two days at the start of the semester and one day towards the end of the semester. And then two evenings um, each week online, for example, a Tuesday or Wednesday evening from 6 to 8 p.m. We have 15 places um, per each academic year. And as I said already, it is interdisciplinary. So we're looking for an interest in and we have a very diverse um, uh, student cohort on this um, master's. Just to say that the master's itself um, is 90 credits um, and you can exit at the end of year two with the MSc in Child and Family Health and Wellbeing. There's also an exit um, with 60 credits um, and for a graduate diploma in child and family health and wellbeing. And there's also the opportunity for a graduate certificate in child and family health and wellbeing with 30 credits from three modules in year one. Just to give you an overview of the program structure and the modules, here you will see in year one, semester one, we have modules around child and family focused care and wellbeing which will look at theoretical foundations, assessment approaches and intervention models um, for caring for children, young people and their families. We we'll look at critiquing children's rights and participation in contemporary debates and subject knowledge in relation to um, children's rights, participation and advocacy. And we also have a research and evaluation methods module um, which will commence in semester one, year one and will run year long. In semester two of year one, you see we have a core module again of global child health and health inequalities, which will look at um, contemporary and future trends in children's health and well-being, and the impact of health inequalities on children's and families' lived experience. In semester two of year one, there is also an option to choose between two modules, one focusing on contemporary issues in child and adolescent mental health, or a second module looking specifically at population science and health promotion for marginalised communities. In year two, semester one, there is a module around care and service provision closer to home, which focuses on uh, contemporary and emerging trends in community based health and wellbeing and uh, service provision for children, and families, um, and it particularly speaks to the new model of delivering um, care out in community context. 
And then the across year two, semester one and two, there is a research dissertation module. We're really happy to um, consider any questions that you have today and or afterwards, if you would like to directly uh, get in contact with us via email, you can contact myself, veronica.lambert at dcu.ie and or carol.byrne at dcu.ie. So I look forward to any questions you have now in um, the chat for us today. See some typing there. We wait to see what questions are coming in. Claude has put in a question there, Veronica. Is the course over two years? Um, if you do the grad, if you do the graduate certificate only, you you can exit Claude with the graduate certificate at the end of year one. But we envisage, that, right, Veronica, that most students will continue on to complete the masters. Yeah. So I think um, the question is: the course over three years? No, it's over the graduate certificate will be over yeah two or eighteen months, I suppose. Yeah. You're welcome. So thanks a lot. When is the application open? Um, we hope that the applications will open maybe around the second week in, in April. Um, but we do have uh, a web, uh, you know, there's a website, again, um, a page uh, where you can actually um, input your expressions of interest at the moment. And we will contact you directly then and let you know when the applications uh, do open. And um, so if you would like those details, please um, just get in contact with me and email me and um, we'll forward those details to you. Good. Oh, great. So I'm delighted that you've done that already. So we will be we will be in touch very shortly. I think that's it now, Veronica, is it? Yeah. Although, thanks very much for putting the link up. Yeah, I think we're coming yeah. near the end of the time now, aren't we? So, uh, like that, as I said, we're more than happy for people to get in, in touch with us via email and happy to have conversation um, and uh, share further details. And please do follow and watch out on the programme page for um, updates um, in the coming in the coming month. And, um, if you put in your expressions of interest, we receive direct um, contact from us uh, when the applications open. As I say, there's only 15, um, 15 places for the first academic year, so I encourage people to get in, get in early. So I think if we leave it there, I don't see any. Oh, there's one, another. No. Nile. I stopped typing. <laughs>